What's up, guys? I'm back for some more of Tom Clancy's The Division. So, right off the bat, I just wanted to quickly show you something. I've been wondering, what do I do with all of these canned foods and bottled waters and all of these, like, explosive and incendiary bullets I keep finding in containers? Well, I, I knew that if you press left on the D-pad, it brings up all of the grenades. I don't use this very often because I mainly just use the frag grenades or my sticky bomb. And I just got to thinking that, hey, maybe there's more menus. So sure enough, if you press right on the D-pad, it brings up this whole menu that I haven't used at all during this playthrough. And it's got the bullets, the canned food, water, soda, all that good stuff. Now I tested out a, a can of food and it lasted two minutes. So I assume all of these status effects last two minutes. So I'm going to try and start using these. Uh, and most likely I will use the bullets on like boss battles or really tough battles. But yeah, I need to start using these things because it looks like you can only carry a maximum of three. So I've probably been passing a lot of them up that I could have been picking up if I'd just been using them up as I go. So that that's nice to know. Also, there's all these emotes here. There's six of them. You can do like jumping jacks or wave salute, all that stupid stuff that I don't use. And then one other thing is in the abilities menu, I have unlocked a whole bunch of talents. Uh, so when I picked my talent before, I only had these four unlocked, but now I can uh, choose from these ones here too and let's just uh, hover over them real quick so this one air any cover to reduce recoil that one's decent but I could probably live without it kill a hostile while moving to reduce incoming damage by 15% for 10 seconds okay suppression don't need suppression I don't really usually go for like suppression or um, Blind fire, I mean, suppression, blind fire, I don't use those. So I'm just going to skip those. Apply bleed to any target triggers a 30% chance per each target in a 10 meter radius. Okay, I'm not sure what, I, I know what bleed is, but I'm not sure how to do it. Use a medkit during low health to increase damage resistance by 20% for 10 seconds. Well, you always use a med kit during low health, hopefully, so, you know, that's a pretty good ability. Uh, use a med kit near allies. Yeah, screw allies. Don't care. Uh, reach low health to reduce all active cooldowns. Don't care about that one. So, really, it's a choice between this one and this one. This one works good because I, I have a run and gun style. Um, but, let's see... Honestly, I think this one's better because this one only activates when you activate a med kit. And this one here can activate every time you kill an enemy while you're moving, which uh, that happens quite a bit. So I'm actually going to pick this ability and replace that other one. The other one was it grants me immunity from status effects for 10 seconds. Um, that's only like... I guess bleed status effects and you know when I'm like on fire and burning to death but that doesn't happen very often so I'm gonna skip that and just go with that one I think that's a, a good perk all right so let's exit out of here and enough talking let's go start a mission so the uh, mission we're doing in this video is this uh, story mission. It's a napalm production site. Oh god, I was just talking about how I uh, don't catch on fire HQ. very often. They're using a construction site as a base of operations and supply depot. It's kind of hard to hide when you're cooking up enough napalm to roast Canarsie. What Captain Benita's means is that they've got their main napalm B production facilities there. Without that, the cleaners are a lot more manageable. Of course, you can't just waltz in and pull the plug. This Joe Farrell guy seems to be their head honcho, and he's pulled in half their manpower to defend the place. You're gonna have to take him out to do the job right.
Alright guys, I got way late by the random enemies here. Alright, so <laughs> let's keep going. Toss that shield aside. So yeah, uh, I was just talking about uh, how I never uh, catch on fire very often. Echo available for playback nearby. Now I'm going to a uh, mission in a napalm facility, napalm production site. This should be fun. Those flamethrower guys—they are—they uh, are bad news sometimes. Last Agent, video I did a starting mission. Fires and we don't have the resources to put them out. If we don't shut down their napalm production, we're one stiff breeze away from the entire borough going up. The thing is, they got their main production facility in the middle of their HQ, which is where you're going. Find it, close it down, and make sure they can't rebuild. Which means taking out boss man Joe Farrow. If he walks, he'll just start it all over again. Yeah, my last mission, I, uh did a uh, encounter where there was a whole crap load of those flamethrower guys and they were just uh, they were just going uh, crazy on me with those flamethrowers and shit got the place real packed with napalm tanks and gasoline any tanks you find just take them out however you can go on the cleaners and salvage that stuff when you're done we've all seen the damage they can do it's uh I only see one enemy, so I'm not going to deploy my turn. So, uh... Oh my god. This guy wants to do some medieval combat with me. Do a little shield bash. Oh my god, I accidentally uh, threw my turn down there. Whatever. Look at that shield bash. I'm making all sorts of mistakes today. Let's throw that away. Oh, I'm supposed to blow that up, aren't I? That makes sense. How do I blow it up? Oh, there we go. Ooh. Turner, Burnett, I need you and your people to get out there and guard the perimeter. I got a bad feeling. Nope, oh, got more uh, guys coming to uh, try and play the Game of Thrones with me. Yeah, that shield uh, saves my ass so many times. It kind of makes me feel like a superhero, too. I ain't gonna lie. It is kind of overpowered. You could just stand right in front of enemies and they can't even hurt you. Although, I'm just gonna toss it. It is, uh... My shield was halfway damaged, so... Just wait for a new one. ammo there. Now I am using this uh, sniper rifle rather than my SCAR. I explained it last video, but the the SCAR, it, it's got over 5,000 damage. It's got over 1,000 damage more than this one. But it's uh, the bullet, it just uh, it fires a lot higher than where you shoot. For some reason, I don't know why. This one is pinpoint accurate, so I I prefer the accuracy over damage. I'm not sure if I should head down or just pick up here. 
Can't raise Patterson's patrol. It's your heads out of your asses and keep an eye out. This could be it. Got you, boy. I think I'm just going to uh, stay up here for now. Might as well. Oh, there we go. Wonder if they're uh, going to try and come in on me. Nah, that's too far away. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go downstairs there. See what's going on. So I don't see just regular enemies very often. It's always uh, the flamethrower guys, the grenaders, or the melee guys. I haven't seen the guys with bats in a while. Ooh, there's a special guy. Come on, peek your head out. Love this gun. I'm just uh. I'm just sad that the uh, scar I, I bought didn't really pan out. Right, zoom in there. Where's he at? Come on, guy. All right. I guess he's uh hiding. I know there's one more up there. guys aren't doing as much damage. I wonder, uh, uh, I, I did, uh, before I started this video, I went and bought two more pieces of gear that, uh, gave me plus health, because I realized my gear wasn't giving me a lot of health, it was giving me a lot of skill power, and I don't really care about that. I'd, I'd rather have the health. And I also equipped a few, uh, few pieces of armor I got at the end of the last video. I don't really like showing that because uh, nobody cares about armor. We just care about the uh, guns. Or at least I do. I, if you've watched any of my playthroughs of games, uh, you know that I'm, uh, I'm like 99% offense and 1% defense usually. best defense is having the biggest gun. Alright, uh, so we've got two more. Good thing this isn't, like, there's no time limit. Alright, um, uh, I, I can't stand stuff that has time limit, because I'm a very methodical, almost insanely methodical person. There's always a method to my madness, but when there's a time limit, then that kind of screws me up. Alright. So, what's over here? Um, let's go in here. Well, that's upstairs. Um, okay. Uh, let's see, is there a different way to get up there? I must have missed a stair staircase back here somewhere. What's going on back here? Alright, let's go up here and... Okay, here we go. Alright, uh, generator... Yeah, no, they're, 
there's a there's a boss here I need to kill apparently. Something Ferrero, I think they said. Oh my god, uh Watch this guys. Take it! Keep him away from the tank! You hear me? You can't let them get to the tank! The only bad thing about the turret is it has really low life and extremely low range. I mean, it's not going to be able to hit those guys. I usually don't like this type of gun, uh, the SV, what's it called, the SVD, in games like Battlefield and Call of Duty. Well, I, honestly, I don't play Call of Duty anymore. There's, uh, they're all the same game, it seems like, and, uh, I mean, I don't know, I, I, the Modern Warfare series is the one that I care to play. But I, I like all the Battlefield games, except I did do a playthrough of Battlefield Hardline recently, and honestly, I, I didn't like it. it. It seemed like it was really rushed, and the uh, graphics weren't that great, especially for being on you know, next-gen. But there I am, on fire. And I, I just, I didn't like any of it. I didn't like the story or any of that crap. Just, uh... Throw my turret down there. Where did that guy pop out from? More grenades. Gotta get that roll on. Alright, enough of this. I'm going super mad. Oh my god. How'd they wipe out my uh, shield like that? It's crazy. that down there. Keep rolling up there? Where's that grenade guy? Those grenade guys are just a huge pain in the ass. Oh, okay, he put a turn up there. Alright, is that it? Guess so. It's a... Uh, what's that, a backpack? Alright, let's uh let's refill my ammo real quick. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't have to use a medkit back there. Just because there is a boss battle coming up and that I I kinda wanna save my medkits for the boss battle. Oh, that might be the that can Oh my god! All right, I have to pop a med kit here, guys. All right. Is he gonna pop out? Is that that might be the boss up there? What should I do? Yep, that is the boss up there, level 10. Oh, nice. I wonder if I can get close enough to pop my turret out. Oh my god! <laughs> hey, that ain't fair. He's got like a shotgun sniper rifle or something.
You know what? I don't. I, I don't know if that's the boss. He's kind of dying. shot should pop his arm. Right? Oh man. Used up all my med kits. Nice. Warning. Explosive chemical signature detected. Source identified. Alright, um... So he didn't drop anything up there. That's weird. Okay, uh... There's a container right here. Restock. These restock things are just everywhere. I don't, I, I don't see how you can possibly run out of ammo in this game. Alert. Explosives armed. Ready for detonation. Alright, plus one med kit. There's one more here. Give me another med kit. Come on. Nope. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I've already forgotten to use all those uh, consumables. I should have used that flaming ammo back there. On that uh, mini boss guy. See, I haven't used it in... But, you know, this is, what, my 16th video on this playthrough? And so I'm just not used to using them. Now you all know what we're doing here and how important it is. You all know what's gonna happen if we don't burn this thing out. This people count on us. Our families, our friends, the whole damn world. So that's why we gotta hold the line against anyone. And I don't care if they say they're from the government. You know they're lying. This looks like a good spot up here. We stop them here. We can still save the city. We can still save the world. We let them through that everything we've done is for nothing. And we ain't gonna let that happen. Just, just let my turret take them out. Trying to shield bash. enough on turn. This is kind of tough, this mission. Five more seconds. Let's do this. purple guy too. I got freaking lucky right there. I should have bust out the shield. One more 
somewhere out there. Oh. That's all, folks. I bust out that, uh... I bust out the shield and it's game over. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> 